Hello, my name is Rachel and I work for the Step 2 Young People's Health Charity in Bradford and this video is about staying safe in general. So the first area of safety to look at is online safety. Are you sharing your passwords with others? Is that particularly safe? Do you know what they're doing with your, passport, your password and your account? Are you safe on social media? Do you have privacy settings? Do you add people that you don't know? Do you know how to recognise a scam? When somebody's emailing you and telling you that they're the Prince of Nigeria and that they need your help and that they need you to send a little bit of money. Believe me, it sounds far fetched, but these emails come through quite frequently. There are lots of other scams doing the rounds as well, though, especially at the minute due to the coronavirus pandemic about free tests or about um, getting boosted up the vaccine list and unfortunately people do capitalise from other people's misery. Are you sharing information, pictures and links? Are those links genuine? Are those pictures legal? If you don't know somebody on social media, think to yourself, why are they actually trying to add you? They're not doing it to boost their popularity, there's a reason for it. One of five internet users in the UK is a child. We do have another video about online safety if you'd like to know more. With personal safety, I always tend to think along the lines of do's and don'ts. Put your phone in a safe place. If it's in the back pocket of your jeans, hanging half out, that means it's visible to everybody and could be easy to steal. I know it is so easy to just pop your phone in your back pocket, that might be the only pocket you have, it might just be easier so that you don't have to keep going into another pocket or into your bag or wherever to get it, but if other people can see it, then there's going to be a lot of temptation for some people to steal it. Stay with your friends if it's dark or with other people that you trust. It is a great idea to let people know where you are. I know it's a total buzzkill going out on an evening and telling your parents exactly where you're going, but your parents want to know that so that they can help to keep you safe, so that if something happens to you, they can get there. Stay in well lit areas where possible. Creeping around in the dark could frighten other people, but it could also lead you to getting into situations that you don't want to be in. And pay attention to your surroundings. So for example, if you've got earphones in, please look both ways when you're crossing the road. I've had quite a few young people almost step out in front of my car because they weren't paying attention. And that's just generally in other areas as well. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Take notice if there's somebody behind you. It's not a great idea to talk loudly about how much cash you've got on you because that makes you a target for a potential mugging. It's basically the same as having your phone hanging out your back pocket. You basically say to somebody, come and steal this. If you're walking alone, try not to have your music too loud and then you can still hear what's going on around you, potentially if there's somebody coming up behind you. Don't get in a car with someone who you don't fully trust. You can't stop that vehicle on your own. You can't necessarily get out on your own. Don't get into the car if you don't know the people. And don't feel afraid to leave a situation that you aren't happy with. You are your own person. Feel free to stand up for yourself and say, actually, do you know what? I don't want to do that. No, thank you. If you're going to parties, I hope you have lots of fun, but I hope you're really safe at the same time. So if people are offering around alcohol and drugs, think carefully about it. Is this something that I want to do? have I got the sense to be able to do it safely so do I need to pace myself maybe have one alcoholic drink and then some water or a soft drink you don't have to go all out in the first hour and drink loads and loads of alcohol because the rest of the evening is going to be pretty dull or you're not really going to remember any of it because you're too drunk drugs be extremely careful. Nobody can tell you not to take them because you are going to make your own choices and do what you want to do anyway. However, drugs are extremely dangerous and could lead you into very, very difficult situations. Where possible, don't leave your drink unattended because that means somebody could put something in it. If you've got bottles like the young people there in the images, you can always put your thumb over the top or in the top. 
But if you leave a drink sat on a counter come somewhere and you come back to it after a few minutes, anybody could have messed with that drink. Same as any drinks that are offered from strangers. What is it? Have they put anything in it? Most importantly, why are they offering you it? Do you have an escape route if things start looking a bit funny and you're not really happy there? Do you have a way to get out? This is equally important for young people and for adults. Have you done any advanced planning? Do you know how you're getting home? Are you supposed to be stopping over there? Are you stopping with a friend? Do you need a plan B? Because what happens if something happens to that friend, if they're not very well, if they've had to go home early? What happens if your lift can't now take you because they've been drinking? Do you have a plan B for how to get home? Okay, so staying safe while having sex. The legal age of consent is 16. You should be thinking about contraceptives, not least to protect against STIs, but also against unwanted pregnancies. Don't feel pressured into doing something that you aren't ready for. We do have other videos that cover safer sex as well. And if that's something that you would like more information about, you can follow any of our social media handles, all of which are at the end of the video. The two images here are images of accidents that have involved young people that have died. So teenagers that have died in car accidents. Never get in a car with somebody who's drunk or taken drugs. That goes for adults and young people. If you know the driver is incapacitated or impaired in some way, never get in the car with them. That is a huge piece of equipment. It can kill people. It can kill you. Please don't do it. If your friends just pass their driving and test, that is really, really exciting. You're going to want to go places together if they've got access to a car. Be patient with them because it is quite scary the first time you're out and about without an instructor. And while you're still getting used to not having them there, even if they weren't telling you to do anything, it was still nice having that comforting presence there. So please be patient with your friends when they've just passed their tests. If you're with somebody that's making you uncomfortable, get out of that car as soon as you can. There'll be a reason that you feel uncomfortable. Trust your gut. If you don't know the driver personally, don't get in. Why do they want you to get in? They might start to show off. They might start to drive dangerously, which is what happened in these two situations. And when you pass your test, if you choose to, drive the way you in your instructor taught you. You will develop different driving habits as you get older, but don't think that just because you've got a piece of paper that says you're now licensed to drive, that you suddenly know everything about driving and you can drive as fast as Lewis Hamilton and get away with it, because you can't. So you have here some information about charities and organisations that can support you. Step two is the organisation that I work for. We're a sexual health and mental health charity. You can see all of our social media handles there. Please feel free to add us where we can provide you with information about any of the things that we've covered in this video. We work in collaboration with James and Hale, both based in Bradford, and we deliver relationships and sex education lessons across the district. You can talk to Frank if you have questions or concerns about drugs. You can talk to Childline if you have any other concerns. West Yorkshire Police are a good one to speak to or they might have information on their website. And the Susie Lamplew Trust support victims who are being stalked by others. Susie Lamplew was an estate agent who was killed when she was showing a house to somebody.